Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, the title of which probably tells you that there is a world download available for Hardcore Hermits Season 2 and this is the world that you can download right here. Um, it is in Hardcore mode by default obviously and it is in version 18W16A. I'd highly recommend that you play this in the same snapshot. If you were to play it in a later snapshot there could be items that are added that won't appear in the list and you play it in a previous one. There will be items on the list that you can't get in the game and that could cause all sorts of troubles. So make sure you're playing it in this version right here. So when you log into the world, the uh, the sky is going to be frozen, the time won't be changing, and that's because us hermits like to freeze the world in between um, recording, because, you know, gotta do all your recording jazz. So if you need to use the commands to enable this, um, what you want to do is go into here and just turn allow cheats on, and click on start land world, and then that will allow you to type in something like um, game rule, do daylight cycle, and set that to true and then the sun will start moving through the sky now if you're on a server obviously what you need to do is make yourself a server operator and you'll be able to type in those commands but now we can actually start playing this game and the idea of the game is to get uh, as many of the items in the game as you can and chuck them into the shrine at the top there are actually I believe 692 unique items to collect and put into the shrine and earn points. Now you will see points at the, the bottom of the screen there, gonna put it right where the sun is and also at the top of the screen right there. Let's go up to the shrine, you've probably watched the series and seen the hermits doing this, but you put items into the chest at the top and it gives you a point for that. We now have one point up there and where the sun is and we've got a toast pop up on the top of the screen. Uh, notice how I can open the hopper but I can't open the hopper or the dropper down below and that clicking sound is because this thing is getting activated over and over again so let's claim a few more points there you go you can see our points are going up again and then let's go put in an item that we've already put in before you'll see that it just gets spat back out at the bottom now the data pack that makes all of this jazz possible suppresses all the other advancements in the game so when we press l to open the advancement screen there is only one tab, and as you can see, there is a crazy amount of different items on it, right? Um, these white ones that we see right here, these are all ones that we are yet to get, and then they will turn golden when we've got them. And like I said, there are 692 in total, and there are a crazy amount of blocks here. And I finally managed to find one that we just put into the dropper a moment ago. So if you are playing along, you might want to know what the world seed is. Um, there it is on your screen. You can use that to have a look at the overview of the world. The shrine is located pretty close to 0, zero which was intentional. But you might be playing this or, or looking at the world download and thinking, I would like to play this on a different seed. And that is possible as well, because in the world download, there is actually a data pack. Let's go and list the ones that are enabled, and we can see the name of it. Um, it's that second one right there file slash item challenge dot zip so you could take that and you could go put it into another world and that would allow you to play the game in a different world but you'd also need to create a shrine for yourself and the way that you would do that is by running a function command which I am going to do right now and it will create the shrine relative to where you are in the world um, let's go and type in that right there slash function space item challenge spawn shrine and this will create a shrine in your location so that's what you want to do once you put the data pack into the other world and then of course it creates the shrine for you now one other thing to mention is that when you are close to the shrine um, it puts you in adventure mode so see how I can't break blocks at the moment if I walk a little bit further away I'll be able to break blocks again and that is so that you obviously uh, don't go and break the contraption itself or start stealing the quartz and slabs to take points. Um, yeah, so you'll be in adventure mode when you're close to it. Well, that's just about everything you need to know. Uh, this is all put together by my friend Mr. Plagiatus, whose name I can never quite say correctly. Uh, if you'd like to check out what he's up to, there's a link to his Twitter, his YouTube, and his website in the description box down below, where you can also find the world download for this. It is the download of the world, so inside that folder, you'll be able to find the data pack as well. Um, if you want to move this to a different world. But anyway, I wish you the best of luck with playing this. And if you've enjoyed the video, then leave a like as always. Thanks for the support on this channel. And I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye bye.